fake van life wake up scene heralds the completion or perhaps just part two of van tidy number 13 <laughs> very nice thought but those sandals can't last forever well they seem to have hmm. this would tidy up the back of my van no end What ghastly tat! Mm. Yep, that'll do. Too easy. Now, I love it when a plan comes together. So that's the space I need to fill that's just too narrow for those full size stacker drawers. For American and Canadian viewers watching, Asda and Walmart are the same company. The difference is, you can't park your car here overnight in Her Majesty's United Kingdom. Mm. I live well. Mm. An entire fractal universe inside the chest of drawers. Everything has moved to where the passenger seat was. <laughs> and the back is free except for the toolbox and the chest of drawers to be inserted into that space. Still got it. <sighs> Clear that space out. Benjamin's toolbox. That's received a lot of use. Thank you, Ben. Excess red reflective tint a3 size canvas unused a four pack of baked <laughs> baked bean cans 
あーあーあーあ、uh, あ、so、used wipes <笑> lint free cloths industrial greasy wipes <笑> I picked up some other rubbish near where my van was to uh, avoid Suspicion or attention or indeed unsightliness. I'll bring out my unused safe space and tent. Rucksack. More lint free wipes. Bog roll. Funnel. A lot of these can go back down the side there. Uh, Welsh flag, glue gun, and twine. Uh, oh, are you off already? Oh, that's a different one. Slippers! Uh, I did not know I still had them. Hmm. What a mess! What else are we looking at here? Bag of noodles. Bag of bags. Tart. Shower head. Rubble sacks. Oh, and a heavy bag of Indian rice. I'm about to become increasingly inaccessible. My Parker uh, screw gun and gas stove. Anything else down there? Oh yeah, my unused <laughs> bottle of red, uh, jump leads, a five watt solar panel, and disposable charcoal barbecue. I'm not not very disposable. And a shooting stick. I'm wondering if the toolbox could squeeze in there. The answer is no. However, I used to have it up here, didn't I? Wedged in between the ceiling and the Top drawer. What have I got there now? Spare diesel tank and spare quilt. Duvet cover. And yes, textbooks for a career that has been destroyed by our globalist stooge government. Okay, toolbox. No, it's not going in either. <sighs> Let's get, just get everything out rather than squeeze things into tiny spaces. So, two ton tow rope. Uh, clothes that are off season or that I hardly ever use. Ah, just reveals more, doesn't it? So you've got shampoo, window cleaner, toilet cleaner <sighs> the main event the four stacker that's thinner than the others easy as that hmm. I'll put the gas stove down there to wedge it all in yes this being of course a no tools build Mm. Plenty of space that I can make the most of. And this. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. 
Aha. I deliberately bought these to go in there. Oh, yes. And sometimes I just amaze myself with my own genius. Perhaps that canvas could come in handy after all. Get off. Yes. Aha. Precisely. And a regular feature on this channel is the quick half-time stock check. I have butane and glue, unused clothes, <laughs> curry flavoured noodles, a smaller drawer set, a toolbox and miscellaneous items scattered on the bed and in the front seat. Part two. Well, I'll make it a feature length episode. Or this whole lot might only go on for six minutes, you just never know when you're filming. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it was meant to be. Or was it? Yes. Bang. even. However, I think it will fit perfectly on top, which means addition being commutative, I can put this underneath and then the stacker drawers on top. Ah, but then I won't be able to reach the top one. Ha! Huh. But when has that bothered me? Right, you out. Oh, you oh. How does anyone manage without a cameraman? Oh yeah, me. In fact, most YouTubers seem to do well without a cameraman. So, let's not be daunted. Right, gas stove removed temporarily unused clothes on the unused bog though them on there like that like what <sighs> measure twice cut once <sighs> right Yes, I'll use. <clears throat> okay, got it in. Still with a reasonable bedside table, which is the top of the bog. Now that should leave me space to wedge those in uh, in there. If anyone's ever read Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency, you'll know there might only be one way to do this. And once again, Pythagoras has defeated me. <laughs> Damn that hypotenuse. Why don't I put that in first on top of the toolbox, then wedge that in there, 
In fact, it'll be done just like that. Right. So I've got unused clothes, butane glue, and various widgets I need for future projects there, which leaves this base for them. The zero two tools build is achieved by uh, this door uniquely cut into the notches of the B and C pillars, pushed into this port wall by an unused porter bog and the elastic compression of my precious bag of bags. And I have accumulated other precious bags since. They will never be used as bins. But as for the structural stability of preventing those stacks of drawers falling onto the bed during an extremely spirited turn to starboard, I need to find the bungee cord. <coughs> Uh, it's in there somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. there are the beginning points of two of them. Which one is not being used? This one. Well, they're both the same one. Alright, let's begin this in the D ring, which is put into the van precisely for this sort of purpose. Got it. <laughs> stretchings, stretchings. Hmm. Fixings, fixings. Hmm. So, behind here, there must be the same set of holes as there are on this side, where I hang currently hang my reading glasses, my emergency reading lamp, and the breathing port. Right, maximum tension, well, I believe the technical term is maximum strain. Maximum strain, of course, occurs just before necking. Ah. Ah, there's the necking. Right, instead of there, maybe there. Yes. Well, this is the one that came out. And I'll swap it with Uh, another one that was used to hold the seat in, which might have the same pitch of thread. We'll see. <sighs> yes. And that gives me a hook for Hey, the fastening hook. Alright. Does that give me the length I need? Oh, perfect. I hope the door can still close. That can be the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, and not a moment too soon. End of daylight. As the old Haynes manuals used to say, refitting is the reverse of removal. Done. Oh. What am I going to do with these now?
the corner where the passenger seat used to be lives the fight another day good night